Hi there, welcome back. In our two last lessons, we have created successfully our backend API and front end where you can like and unlike post and comment. So in this video, we will add a uh, new features. We'll use socket.io, which will allow us to like and unlike post and comment in real time without page reloading. So if this is your first time in this channel, so please smash the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's begin. Okay, as you can see, we have incognito tab, okay, and uh, we are currently logged in in uh, the normal tab, okay, and as you can see, this is the demo and you like, okay, and uh, you see online marketplace, so we unlike the post. And for example, all about WordPress, we like, okay, incognito tab automatically shows two likes, okay, if we unlike, okay, it will move the likes, okay. So we're gonna, after this, demonstrate um, the comment section. In the comment part, we're gonna add a comment, Okay, so because we are using socket.io, so we will have uh, all the window updated automatically, okay, without page reloading. So we are added a new comment, real time, okay, comment, and comment. And as you can see, on both sides, we have our new comment, okay, pop up without page reloading. So this is done with socket.io, which we will see um, in our video. And uh, the link um, in the folder, the project that we are going to work is this one, blog Red app, okay? We just copy and clone this project. So we're gonna work um, on this um, project. So this is what we are going, we are going to see. We're gonna, we're going to have a lot of fun. So here in our code editor, as you can see, we have an empty um, folder and we're gonna clone our project, okay? Just we have already our um, folder name. We're gonna add dot. I mean to only um, um, download which inside our GitHub um, folder. Okay, as you can see, we have backend and front end. Okay, and now we clear the console. We have added another one, and uh, we're gonna install our dependencies. We cd in front end. Okay, and npm. I okay short for npm install okay and in backend also um, we have added npm i so this is done now okay we have successfully added our node packages okay in backend also in what end Okay, and now we will bring our .env, okay, which have our sensitive data. Okay, so as you can see, now we are on uh, um, socket.io. It's really simple. We're gonna leave it, keep it simple. As you can see, we have configuration for front end and configuration for back end. As you can see, import server from socket.io. Okay, and in the front end, import IO from socket.io dash client. Okay, this is two packages that we're gonna need and IO, um, no server and the port. Okay, IO connection socket. Okay, and that we see if, uh, we have a callback. Okay, when you want to send a message, you take the parameter socket, socket.emit. Okay, and the name of the, the event is hello. And as you can see, in the front end, we receive socket on hello. We receive the, the, the event name also hello, and we pass a callback. And we will now receive the, the, the world that you sent. Okay. And uh, same way in the front end, you can send to the back end. In front end, you're going to emit, emit to send, you emit Audi. Okay. And we're going to receive it, this Audi, in our back end. Okay and uh, it will print what we what we have set i mean stranger okay so it's not difficult so you can uh, read even if this is your first time so 
we'll leave it really simple. Um, okay, so this is uh, an example of the configuration. So we're gonna copy just the configuration. You see, if you want, you can use uh, HTML also, but um, in our case, we are using um, um, Node.js. So we're gonna stick with this example, okay? So um, we have an, another event, we have broadcasting, okay? Uh, io.init, broadcasting will broadcast to all, um, um, I mean, io that emit uh, to all even the sender and uh, if you wanna don't wanna include the sender all this is all in the documentation you will use um broadcast okay so um as you can see so this is all socket that broadcast that emit okay so um it will not include the sender okay so this is well explained okay you're gonna i mean with some practice um some lecture you're gonna good to go but we're gonna leave it really simple guys to understand and now in front end npm install socket data you dash client in front end and in back end we're gonna install socket that io okay really simple okay so we have successfully installed our um, packages so um in back end socket.io and in front end socket.io dash client okay so to begin we're gonna um start our server back end and front end and we search for our um, server app.js okay so we're gonna add configuration for our socket.io we just copy okay as you can see we just copy the configuration from the documentation guys anything special http we call it http it's a core module of the js and we create the server okay which will receive the app from express okay and we extract okay this structure server this structure server from socket.io and this io new server okay so we create an instance new server and we receive the server okay so this server so here i'm gonna um duplicate and comment this just um for you to um to see okay leave this example so now i'm not going to use app i will use now server i mean i'm using now um socket.io okay so and now we will save first of all db connected everything is fine and let's save okay we save again okay with socket.io configuration and it should be good to go as you can see everything is fine okay so we have no errors, okay? Um, successfully configured. So after that, we're gonna take uh, uh, the instance of socket.io, io.on, okay? connection okay we see the callback so we name uh, the parameter um, socket and uh, a user we're gonna console log a uh, user connected and uh, socket that id so in a while you will see where um, that id is coming from okay but for now we're gonna uh, print socket that that id okay the id of the connection okay so now um as we're gonna start with um comment section we go in the single paste uh, single post sorry and uh, we uh, import io from socket 
that are your dash client okay and uh, this is how you you do um, according to the documentation cons socket equal io and we have the link okay and you can uh, the second option you can add uh, i mean any option available that you want to customize your your thing but um here we pass the option with connection true but by default this is uh also um true okay so if you don't want reconnection um automatically so you will um add force i mean it will be manually okay so why we leave the link hard for slash it's because we have already our proxy um we have already our proxy okay so um this is it and um we're gonna use uh, use effect okay use effect is a react hook okay one of one of them okay so now we're gonna print um socket um io And we will receive the socket, uh, the const socket that we have just created. Okay, semicolon. As you can see, you see a user connected, and you see, you see the ID, socket ID. Okay, so if you look in the back end, uh, this is what we 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 want to point. Okay, and in our browser as you can see if you expand it okay and uh let's see we have the id okay we have the id so um everything is fine till now so let's continue so when when we add a comment what we did we we display i mean display single post again so that we'll have the updated version but since we are using socket.io we don't need this anymore um we're gonna use socket okay to give us our newly updated post and uh, as when we are adding a comment okay so we're gonna use a socket that we have created um um just a while socket that emit okay we're gonna send emit so we're gonna send from back from front end to back end what we are going to send the name of the event is comment and we're gonna send data post comments so let's check our um model if you have um dubs as you can see comments is a, an array of objects okay and uh, if you wanna also check um, the controller, uh, let's see, um, add comment, um, I think this is the name, add comment, okay. As you can see, we send an add comment in the result, the post, okay. So this is why we have data, um, data post comments, okay. So we're gonna send this, the updated, to the back end, okay? Okay, let's cut this. I will add it um, after display single post. Okay, and for now I will comment this because this was just for um, demonstrate okay and uh, as you can see um when you add a, a comment you will send this to the back end but now i will comment this in our back end okay because i will receive uh, this event that i send from the front end and don't forget the forget the, the event name is comment and when we are receiving an, an event we use socket on okay the event name comment okay and we pass a callback and you can name inside um, msj you could have name in whatever you want okay but we name it msj 
and uh, console.log, no comment received, okay? So when we send a comment to the back end, okay, we're gonna receive it, okay? When we comment, we're gonna receive it because we send the, the comment to the, to the back end and we will receive it, okay? We receive the MSJ. This is because uh, in the console, this is because we are using a proxy, so our, ba our back end is reloading, okay? So in this single post, so we are currently um, logged in and we're gonna add a comment. Okay, let's add real time. Okay, comment added, but we it, it's not up here yet, we know. So, um, uh, okay, as you can see in the console, in our backend server, you see we have added no comment received. So this is the message, console log, no comment received, and the message. So we have successfully received our uh, newly updated um, comments, okay, from our backend API. But we need to do a little thing because we need to populate the fields for posted by, okay? And uh, this is not difficult to achieve. So we're gonna adjust our code a little bit. So here we're gonna add a post comment, okay? And const post because we already send post, okay? In our, uh, uh, to our front end, okay? So const post await um, the post model, okay? That uh, find, okay? That find by ID because uh, we will receive, uh, uh, when we updated the post, we also have the ID. So we will take this ID of the newly updated post, post comment, Okay, that ID, and we're gonna populate the fields um, in the posted by because uh, posted by uh, have a relationship with user. So we're gonna populate the email and the name of that user. Okay, this is why we made comments that posted by. Okay, according to our model structure. Okay, I think that's it for now. And now let's try again to see what we'll have in our console. Okay, comment added. And now let's check our console. As you can see, now we have posted by um, is populated with um, user info. Okay, so you see, and uh, let's check our last comment. Okay, we are ready. This is our last comment by John Doe. Okay. So now we are almost done for this part. I mean, for uh, our comment section. So now we're gonna emit. Uh, okay. So we receive the, the message. Okay. And when we receive the message, uh, from the front end, we receive it from the back end, in the back end, and from the back end, we're gonna send it again. We're gonna send the updated version, okay? We receive the comment and uh, we emit it again. We're gonna emit from the, from the back end to the back end, from the back end, sorry, to the front end, okay? And uh, to receive uh, this event in the front end, we're gonna use socket.on, okay? And the name of the event, Okay, and um, we're gonna create um, uh, uh, a state. Let's name it uh, comments real time. And set comments real time equal um, use that this will uh, be equal to uh, an empty array.
and uh, the event name is new that uh, dash comment okay and we pass the parameter we could have name it whatever whatever you want set comments um will time will receive the comment that we have passed in our callback um, so um and after that we will add a condition okay so uh let's name it uh let uh uh ui comment update okay so if we have uh, uh comments in the array okay if this is uh the length uh, if this is uh more than zero so we're gonna have uh, the comments will time okay the updated version of the comments else we're gonna have the comments okay and uh, now instead of uh, um, using where's the comment here comments we're gonna use a uh, uh, ui comment update okay okay so uh, the schema is you send update okay you send event from the front end to the back end and the back end receive it and then send it to the front end okay so that we can have the updated version okay socket um emit socket on socket emit okay and now we fix a typo it should be comments comments will time set comments will time okay And now um, let's refresh. So real time again. And as you can see on the fly, it appears in the in our UI. Okay, so it is using socket that I now um let's fix this each time we need to like unlike post so we need to fetch again our api so that uh you can see in the screen in the screen it will load it automatically but um um we're gonna use it we're gonna need it to use in post controller that why this is why we're gonna export the instance of uh an instance of io okay socket that io okay and then we're gonna use it in post controller we export and we're gonna use it so we name it const main equal require um our our app okay because this is located in app.js and uh, we're gonna use it in add like okay we'll use that instance in add like and we move like okay so in add like we create a variable named post await okay find post and sort um sort by the uh the last one and populated uh, uh populate um posted by okay so as you can see we export io we receive io in post controller okay and uh, in main main that io emit so when we have the ob updated post we name this event add dash like and we receive the post okay so post it is the updated version of uh, um, our uh, post list okay and if you want, you can also send um, post, I mean, the updated version. But we're gonna take it directly from um, um, 
socket.io and now we're gonna do the same thing for we move like okay this is the same thing okay we um we print all the posts okay and then we use main.io that emit and then the, this event name is we move dash like and we send the post okay either we like we send the post either we we remove the like we send the post the updated version okay okay so now in the front end i'm gonna adjust the code in the console and also i don't need the data success and to show to fetch the post again okay because we are using now socket.io i don't use to fetch the post again when um someone like or would like a post okay and um uh, address the code in the uh catch block okay and uh, as you can see um this is uh the loop that we have i'm gonna add uh, uh two more state okay so let's name let's name it uh, post add like and set post add like which will be nft array and another one um, post we move like okay set post we move like which will also an empty array okay so when we um when we like a post we will have the updated version it will um have the updated version and we and when we remove our like it will uh have also this uh post we move like the updated version also okay so this is the idea And now we have use effect. Um, you may know that we can use more than one use effect in our UI. Okay. And uh, we don't have a uh, socket IO client. So we're gonna copy in the single post. Okay. And to put it in home uh, home page. and socket on okay on so we're gonna receive the event and what's the name of the event add like okay so we're gonna receive the updated post from the back end now okay socket that on add dash like so we 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 receive um we pass a call back so we're gonna receive the updated post when we like a post okay the updated version okay set post add like our state and we pass um, no post inside set post add like which will be um, an array of post okay and now the trick is that when we add uh, uh, a like so we will empty uh, the array of remove okay uh set post we move like we will empty uh this array okay and uh, in the user effect we're gonna duplicate because we have another event and this time we have in the controller in the room of like the event name is remove dash like so we just copy to avoid the typo and uh, this is pretty the same thing and in the in this time we'll have uh, when we remove the like we will have uh, remove like will be populated with updated post okay and uh, the add like will be empty 
okay so um we have our uh logic ready when it's triggered um uh, add like so post add like will have no post and post remove like will be empty and when we remove like set post remove like will have our updated version and set post add like will be empty and now we add the logic let ui post post add like if this is uh, uh more than zero that means we have um uh it's not empty okay so we'll have post add like okay the updated version else if post remove like is more than zero okay so um we will have post uh, remove like else we will have the post uh in our state that is defined um uh, that we have just showed you okay and now we pass the ui post okay so as you can see we like okay unlike okay and uh so everything is working um fine okay as you can see in our ui so guys and girls that was it for this lesson i hope you learned something and uh, if you have comments please uh, drop that drop them sorry in the comment sections if you uh uh, I mean, uh, like this video, please leave a thumbs up and uh, share it to your friends so that more people can watch our video. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.